Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this webinar uh, titled Digital Transformation and the Post-Pandemic Period. I'm a lawyer. I've been in Singapore for 20 years, but I've been practicing as a law firm for the last, wow, seven years already, specializing in data protection. I'm an accountant by training, and I used to be a group CFO of this company called the Kumo Group. But more recently, uh, I've taken an interest in looking at the governance because I think uh, you know, given what's going on with the pandemic, it's no longer about just data protection. It has shifted gears towards uh, data governance. So I've been helping uh, some organisations to look at their, their governance framework. I want everyone to think about what's happening in today's post-pandemic period. So what I will be covering is a quick backdrop of what's happening in the data protection landscape. The main message to all of you here, whether you're a data protection officer, whether you're a business leader, you're in compliance or in some GRC role, there's a need to move beyond data protection to data governance. And I will share with you why. As we look at the new data protection laws, a lot of the new laws now require a data protection officer. We all know that because of this demand for DPOs, there's a shortage and there's a need to upskill the data protection officer. I want everyone to just be conscious of these three drivers. You can be very sure that it will continue to drive the data protection landscape. I thought it'd be a good idea to show everyone based on the enforcement cases in Singapore till end of last year. We can see from this chart that this 1 million is a distortion. In fines, it's a distortion because we had uh, the Singh Health breach. But if you take a look here, the numbers have actually dropped. It would seem to indicate that COVID-19 has impacted the companies getting into trouble. But I think we need to also point out that there are a lot of backlog cases. Looking at both the upward trends from the Singapore PDPC, right? and of course, uh, in, uh, taking into account that now we are going into the post-pandemic period, there's no lockdown. The fine is often the least of the problems. It's just the, the management disruption and the loss of um, reputation from an investigation. It can be enormously expensive. Well, I think the question we always ask ourselves is, if it could happen to the other organisation, can it happen to ourselves? Mobile apps has also been dominating the landscape. And I mentioned this because there are many companies who are now introducing mobile apps into the market without really understanding the privacy implications. Now, if you are a data protection officer, you are in data governance, I would like to quickly remind everyone what you should be dealing with. I want to draw your attention on the right-hand side, where if you take a look here, there's also new opportunities. A lot of organizations had to change their business models. They had to accelerate their digital transformation. But Here's my message to all the data protection officers. You have been very, very preoccupied on the left-hand side. You should also take a look at the right-hand side as well. For more data protection resources, visit www.dpaxnetwork.org, the Data Protection Excellence Network, and sign up for free as a member to have full access to all content. Do also like and follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn if you found this useful.